Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Test Pack Please Ignore. So at the end of my last episode, what I'd be doing? Oh yeah, I think I was working on some gender tree. Uh, I think that's what I was working on. That might have been before I went away on holiday. I can't quite remember. I think it was gender tree because I think I was working on the genetic imprinter and the genetic sampler. Yeah, I think I was, that was almost definitely the last thing I was uh, working on. So yeah, what do I want to do on this episode? So, um... Uh, an episode or two ago, I made my... Let's just sleep for the night so I can pop outside for a second. Um, uh, in a... Not last episode, but the episode before, I think, I... Um, what the hell was those messages saying? Hang on. Um, what was it? Fix. So oh, just some random fixes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, in the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In like a couple of episodes ago, I made myself the uh, salination plant over here. Fly up here. Ooh, let's have a quick look at the controller, see how it's doing. So it's still not a maximum temperature at the moment. Uh, so it can get up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think somebody suggested using the speed upgrades, but they don't work on this alimination plant by the looks of things. There's no way of putting them in there. So... Um, so yeah, that's not a thing, but uh, I think it just becomes more efficient the higher temperature it gets up to. So it's full on brine, it's full on water. Now I'm going to use this brine. Oh, there's a, there's a mana creeper down there. Interesting. And so let's whack him with, 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 with my hammer. Oh god, let's fly away, otherwise we'll get hurt. Uh, I think they suck mana out from one of the mods like Ars Magica or something like that. But uh, but yeah, so. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with this one is to be using the brine from here to basically upgrade my mechanism setup to the next tier, so like tier 3 or 4, so it basically uh, quadruples the number of uh, ingots I get for my ores, which is pretty cool. So where was the other... Um, so there's the other uh, valve, so what I'm going to need, let me just grab... Um, what am I looking for? I need to grab a couple of liquid ducts or fluid ducts. Liquid ducts. Do I have any? No, I do not. Um, so, is it liquid ducts or fluid ducts? I can never remember on this mod pack. Um, it's fluid ducts, isn't it? Uh, let me try searching for fluid ducts. Oh, there we go. So, we've got some fluid ducts. Also, need a couple of tesseracts because I'm going to just. Um, as, as I've got like tons of ender pearls at the moment, I've got an absolute crap ton growing over here as well. I've got some coming from my mob grinder and I've got a load saved up. Uh, it's not as though I am short of ender pearls right now, so I don't mind transporting everything around everywhere with tesseracts. So, where did that tesseract go? Did I only pick one up? Oops, a daisy. Um, that needs to be wrenched out, but I don't think that's going to push out. So what I'm going to need is either a pneumatic servo or a redstone torch to power that. So let me make a pneumatic servo just because it's slightly more compact. Uh, oh, I've actually got that tool in there. So search box mode auto search. Oh yeah, so I'm searching down here. Very weird. Let's go to pneumatic servo. Just shift click one of those in. If I had any glass, which it turns out I don't, so let me just craft 64 glass because I've been busy, busy as a bee, uh, making, lo putting loads of things in some of my different bits and bobs. So, for example, in my ME interface here, I now have uh, ME encoded patterns. Saying that, I don't think I need to have them. I don't think I need to have this precision export bus in there. I think I can just put it in this export config, which I did not realise before, which is uh, kind of silly of me. Let me just try that. So, uh, what do I need? I need, um, what is it, Yulori, um maybe here. What's it, what's it processing at the moment? Processing yellow ore. So let me take Yellorium out of there. Take that out. Put it in that export config. And then if we go to here, is it going to start deposit depositing it in there again? Uh, exported items. No, it's not. Don't know why it's not doing that. Um, very weird. So yeah, it's just not it's just not working. Okay, that was just an experiment to see if I could do that, but I'm just going to keep the uh, the export bus on there for now, just to keep things a little bit simpler. Yeah, that that, that appears to be working. I'll leave that as it is. I think I've also got um, on the pulverizer. I've got a ME pattern for quartz and nether quartz in there as well, which is kind of cool. So let me make some glass real quick. There we go. Made ourselves a pneumatic servo. Uh, we then need to um, fly back over to here. Install the pneumatic server by right-clicking here. Then we can go into here um, and then tell this to eject. So it will start pumping out. As you can see, it now says brine. If we go into here, we're going to make a new, um, I don't know, we'll call this like six. Call it brine um, add. There we go. I'll turn it on in a second. We also want to turn all of these two off. And then we want the fluid mode to send only. 
and then we can tick that so the brine is on so this will start sending brine once it's got something to send it to in fluid mode so i've got that nice and ready is that started pumping out already let me just have a quick look ah Missed, missed, missed my little uh, little step there. So it started pumping out brine, which is quite cool. As you can see, it's heating up as well, which is always nice. Uh, we'll just pop down here. Then we want to. Then, we want, then what we want to do is pop down to the basement. So let me grab some. Do I have redstone energy conduits? I have a few left. Um, let me make some more. Uh, right click on there. Redstone energy conduit. There we go. Make some blank ones. I don't know. 18 will do. That's all the electrum I've got right now. Let's grab some redstone. Half a stack should be uh, almost enough, I think. But do I have any more in here? Oh, never mind. I've actually got more in there. Silly Ollie. Um, but I'll start making them up into some more redstone energy conduits. You never know when I'll need more. So what do we want to do with this, Brian? So I've got a load of electrolytic separators here. Um, so the way this works, to to do the next level of mechanism, first of all, what you need to do is use this electrolytic separator, which separate, separate out hydrogen and chlorine from the brine. So it basically separates out hydrogen from the water, chlorine from the, uh, chlorine from the salt, from salt water. So you get, so that's what the electrolytic separator does. You then feed that into a chemical infuser, which I actually want to make one more of them just to show you guys the recipe. So if we go to the infuser, we want the chemical infuser. It's just four enriched alloys, two of these gas tanks, Tanks, which is just osmium, uh, just lots of osmium around iron dust, so fairly straightforward. Um, can I make one more of them? There we go. So I've made my fifth one of them because I'm kind of just doing this in fives at the moment as all my factories are basically operating in fives. So that's the chemical infuser made. Uh, then, so you take the hydrogen and the chlorine extracted from the brine using the electrolytic separator, you put that into the chemical infuser to make hydrogen chloride. Then what you do is we're going to make an injection. There we go, a chemical injection chamber. You put the hydrogen chloride into here. What that does is allows you to, um, yeah, uh, that, that allows you to inject ores. So if we go to, what I'm actually gonna do is that while we're doing this, I'm gonna stop all of the ores just to make sure that they're not being used up by my system. So do we have any in here? Uh, we haven't got that many at the moment, so I'm just going to cancel all of these so no more go into my advanced factory for now. Uh, they're all going to be worked through, so um, hopefully I'll dig up some of them as we go. But I can show you what, 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 how it works as we go along. So what we need to do is make the chemical injection chamber first. So first of all, we need to make a purification chamber. Do I have what's required for that? No. What do we need for the purification chamber? So we need an enrichment chamber, which is... Do I have that? No, I need to make the steel casing. So we go all the way through. As you can see, we're kind of working back through the different tiers of mechanism here. So that's one enrichment chamber. Then the purification chamber. What are we missing? Um, where's the enrichment chamber gone? So that would be the enrichment chamber there. So we're missing the two atomic. So we need to make two atomic cores to start off with, which apparently need, requires us to make electrolytic cores. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's uh, going to work. Um, so we need to make two of these. So one, two. Excellent, that allows us to make... Oh yeah, we also need the enrichment chamber because apparently it's deciding not to work. So there's the purification chamber that we need, so we'll keep that out there for now. Next, what we need to do is we need to make two more of these steel casings, so two steel casings, and then we need to make four more atomic, atomic cores. So we need 16 of these electrolytic cores altogether. So one... Two, so, oh, they stack. Excellent. So apparently I'm out of enriched... Uh, is it enriched alloys? I'm sure I'm making more. So let me just go and double check down here. I've got a load more on the go. So, metallurgy confuser, excellent. I've got tons and tons here. Hopefully this should be enough to finish off what we are planning to do. If not, I'm just gonna run some more redstone and iron through there. So let me just dump these enriched alloys in there. Where were we? So, um, that's not working. Oh yeah, we're making these, aren't we? So, what am I missing? Osmium dust. So if we go to osmium, grab say a stack and we'll just pulver pulverize this up. Um, pulverizer, there we go. I'll just start. Because this will make thermal expansion on osmium dust, or Gregtech osmium dust apparently, which basically won't be processed by my machine downstairs, which is quite cool. So, um, where are we? So we're making, is it this? Oh no, missing pulverized gold. Ah, right, I see. So if we grab half a stack of pulverized gold, swap this over, start pulverizing you up instead. 
That was a bit silly. Um, let me just check something. Let me go put some more red, two redstone, and I want two stacks of iron. So we grab iron and iron, like so. I'll start turn, making some more enriched alloys just to be on the safe side while that gold ore is processing very quickly. So we're going metallurgy confuser, iron redstone, iron redstone, marvellous. Um, so yeah, I think if we look over here, do, I do have osmium dust here, yeah, osmium dust. I should have dirty osmium dust in one of these. Uh, dirty lead, dirty silver, dirty tin. Yeah, dirty osmium. So apparently it's just taking a while to kind of process all of the dirty dusts at the moment. So let's go back upstairs. So yeah, we need to make 13 more of these. So if we go for gold, uh, pulverized gold. Uh, one, let's just make 13. I'll just keep clicking like so. Make, make nine more. What am I missing? So now I'm missing osmium. So let's go back to uh, processing some osmium. So we'll just take that stack back. Uh, swap this over real quick. Oops, a daisy. Just chucking gold on the floor. I got loads of gold. Oh, why, do I, why do I need more of it? How much have I got? Almost a thousand, so not too bad indeed. Um, I'm starting to run out of space on my ME drive, so I started upgrading. Like, I built a second ME drive, but I need to build more of the um, uh, the 4K storages basically now. I also had to export all of this red and black granite ore into these uh, my, my other two deep storage units as they were taking up horrendous amounts of space. Like if you go to number of items, I just had absolutely loads of them. So I just exported them straight. Might need to do the same with clay. I have a lot of clay. Might need to build another couple of deep storage units at some point and um, kind of start exporting some of the larger amount of stuff as well, such as that clay. But where were we? So yeah, we're making more of these electrolytic cores. We need to make one, two, three, four more of them. Excellent. So now we can make hopefully the four atomic cores. One, two, what are we missing? Oh God, more enriched alloys. Told you I'd run out. That's why I decided to start putting more on. So if we go over to here, can I upgrade these with, uh, I can upgrade these. I should probably upgrade both of these um, with the energy and um, speed upgrades at some point would help. They'd produce uh, the enriched alloys far faster than I'd need. I should also come up with some kind of like automated system for them as well. Uh, if we go for enriched, there we go. Uh, one, two, there we go. Excelente, put them back into the system. Now we need to make the chemical injection chamber and we can then, et voila, turn that into a chemical injection chamber. chamber. Now what I want to do is turn it into a factory. So if we get a factory, uh, we want to initially, so we're looking for injecting, so what am I missing from that? Um, oh yeah, circuits, so one, two, three, four, like so, and then factory, and I want uh, injection, there we go, so that upgrade it to a three, three t uh, a basic factory, I want to upgrade it to the next level, the advanced factory, so what am I missing from that, let me double check, so I'm missing more control circuits, so one, two, three, four, like so, um, we're also missing, was it diamond dust, fair enough, so diamond, there we go, I've got loads of diamonds, so it's not as though I am short of them. So, yep, that's basically all I need to do. So if we go back over to here, pulverize up these diamonds real quick, which apparently I can't do in the in the pulverizer. So if we drop downstairs to my downstairs basement, we're looking for the macerator, automatic macerator, that'll do. So let's run these three real quick. My god, that's going to take a little while. Come on, diamonds. Uh, what, else, what else have I got down here? I probably should finish making my industrial, uh, three more industrial diamonds and getting my third quarry set up as I've almost finished making that. Um, no steel being made at the moment as I have over a thousand left in my system at the moment, which is pretty cool. There we go. I'm probably gonna use a cyclic assembler to um, basically turn the blocks into, so if we look for Psy, click, assembler where there it is like an assembler from thermal expansion it's basically just a powered crafting terminal from uh let's go back to factory uh, there we go there's a second diamond dust fantastic from mechanism uh, i'm not entirely sure how you'd get that without like a macerator because obviously the pulverizer doesn't work so if we go to where is it i'm looking for the factory et voila and then diamond dust, diamond dust. Oh, yep, there we go. So that's the injection. So there we go. We've got our advanced factory for injection chambers. So now let's start getting this whole system set up. So if we drop down to here, I'm probably just going to, while, while the rest of my mechanism machines are over there, I'm probably just going to dump it over here somewhere just so I've got a bit of extra space. Now, where was my 
Where's my power? I'm just trying to fi figure out whereabouts my... Um, Right there, there, there. There's a conduit so I ran down here somewhere. So let me just uh, move these over a little bit because I'll show you why. So what I want to do is kind of move this over a wee bit more. Just so it's kind of like hugging the wall a bit more just so I can get around things. Uh, that will actually say that's probably one too far. So let me replace that. And then what I'm going to do is build that up like so. Just so I've got a kind of a power conduit area. What I want to do first is get these electrolytic separators set up. So if we do uh, so one, two, three, four, five, then what we need to do is have all five of these kind of set up like this. So if we have this coming out like so, et voila. Da -da -da -da. And then finally, last one like that. We also then need to have the Tesseract set up. Where's my second Tesseract? Apparently it's upstairs. Although, I did build a crafting terminal down here so that I have easier access to my ME network. There we go, excellent. So what I can then do is, for example, just stick that on the end, um, do fluid mode receive only, and then I want to turn everything else off. So fluid mode receive only, turn it to the brine network, so it should now be receiving brine. If we then move out these fluid ducts and start pumping, yep, as you can see, all of these fluid ducts now contain brine. Oh, did not mean to do that. Can I right click on it? Nope. So, fluid up empty, empty, empty. Are they filling up with brine? That's filling up with brine. Why aren't the rest of them filling up with brine? Maybe it's just because this one's filling up first. So, as you can see, they're now it's now separating hydrogen and chlorine, which is pretty cool. Um, the brine seems to be running out fairly quick. Um, is there any other way I can kind of... I'd, well, I don't really want to uh, have more coming out the side. Is now what I want to do... Hopefully, that'll kind of just fill up as we go and won't be too much of a problem so let me just move these away for a second oh yep so that's going to hold one of the things so if we connect all of these up like that connect all of these up like that that will then pull out all of the um what's it called one's chlorine one's hydrogen you can see that's all been pulled out what we then need to do is set up these chemical infusers. So one, two, three, knock that away, four, five, place it back down, see there. Double quick double check with F7. Nope, nothing's gonna spawn. So then what we can do is drop down all of these chemical infusers like so. Then what I need to do is set up all of the pressure. So these are pressurized tubes, the only thing that can move around all the gases produced by the electrolytic separators. So are these going to start producing, as you can see, it's gaining hydrogen, it's gaining chlorine, and it's producing hydrogen chloride, which is pretty cool. I think what I will then need, can I pump out from the top of these? Oh God, have I totally like missed, um, misinterpreted how you can pull things out of here? Um, can you only pull it out the front? That might be a problem. Um, okay, so it connects up there. So yeah, I might need to spread these out a little bit more. Um, like one at a time kind of thing. Can I wrench them up? No, I cannot. Um, uh, let me wrench all this up and I'll move them all down one so they've got a bit of space. There we go. Hopefully they don't have... No, nothing was going into that one anyway, so that's not too much of a problem. What I can then do is just spread these out a wee bit. Like so. So I need a bit more. So next one can go there. One can go there. One, two, three. Hopefully this all fits. Um, one can go there. And then finally one can go... Oh no, that's not going to work. Hmm. I might have to like do a little kind of a U-bend kind of thing. So let me just wrench that up, smash that up, bring this around, I think, like so. I think this is going to work. I might need to build some more pressurized tubing, but uh, this should work. Then there, then there, then there. Excellent. So then what I can do is kind of just build this around like so. Excellent. That's kind of working at the moment. Um, here we go. Let's build all these pressurized tubings around. Hopefully I've got enough. There we go. So that's almost done. 
that's producing hydrogen chloride. Let me just go and grab, um, can I move that hydrogen chloride around using, is it gas or, no, it is, I will need some more pressurized tubing. So let's go and make some of that real quick. Oh, just forgot I don't need to go upstairs for that. So let me go for pressurized tubing. Um, where is it? Do, 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 do. Can't see you. Oh, they're, they're right on the end, that's why. So it's literally just steel and glass makes pressurized tubing. We just grab a bit more like so. Excellent. Oh, I've just realized, how the hell am I supposed to get? That's kind of working really sporadically. Um, is this working at all? Are, are any of these actually gaining like any meaningful brine? Um, some of them are. Is this like not going to work? I don't know. Um, I might have to experiment with this. I've just realised, how the hell am I supposed to get all of the... Um, do I really need five of these? I don't know. Because if I then put this in like that, it's not going to work basically, is it? Oh dear god. This the, I, I've not planned this well at all. Um, I think I almost need to like stack them on top of each other. Oh wow, where did all this brine suddenly come from? Are these actually gaining brine? Let me just... Why can't I click on these damn things? There we go, electrolytic separators. So, uh, while they're producing hydrogen chloride, at quite a nice rate, I don't think this is going to work. So let me just wrench all this up. I think I'm going to need to stack them on top of each other instead. I know this is uh, starting to be a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a farce, but... <laughs> I, I hadn't really planned for any of this, so let me go. No, I want to put some back there. And then I need to start destroying all of these. I know I know these had. So now, I think with the mechanism machines, they do keep their inventories, which shouldn't be too bad. Let me just destroy all of them. Wrench these up. Like so. Um, no, I'm going to need to. I'm going to destroy these as well. Like that. Uh, destroy this one. Come on, there we go. Then what I need to do is bring this out. So one, two, three. So what, what can I get? One, two, three, four. And then if I dig into the ground, it look a bit, a little bit messy, but not the end of the world. I'm meeting it up in a little bit, and then five, I think. So this should work now. I'll just have to knock out that as well. So then what I can do, um, <laughs> just a bit of on-the-fly improv here. There we go, stacking all these up on top of each other, like that. Then what I can do, if this works, is bring this down to here, there we go. They all stack nicely, oh, we need to dig this bit out as well. There we go, that's that, like that. I need to do the same for this side, so let me just stack all of these one on top of each other. Bring this along, there we go. So that should be filling all of these up, producing, uh, once they get power of course, which I hope they, ho hope they are. They're producing, they're not quite producing any hydrogen chloride yet. Um, why not? I'm getting lots of chlorine but not a lot of hydrogen I think, and that might be the problem. Um, interesting. Why is it not producing hydrogen chloride? Hmm. Oh, bloody hell. Why is that suddenly like that? Hydrogen chloride. Oh, that was weird. Um, let's try that. There we go. So, for some reason, it wasn't combining for some reason. Okay, so we'll start making hydrogen chloride, I think. I, I don't know what that button does, but it seems to be working now. So then what we can do finally is attach all of them up, which makes hydrogen chloride, which we can bring out, put into the advanced factory which is now full of hydrogen chloride. Excellent, we need to power this somehow. So, um, let me just kind of loop this around the back, just a half a mile from the railroad track. Um, uh, most of you probably won't get that reference and I don't really care to explain it, it's quite long. It just comes from a song called Alice's Restaurant, but uh, if any of you know that, it'd be great to see in the comments because it is a brilliant little ditty. But, uh, so all these are now producing hydrogen chloride, which is pretty cool. So let me just make sure that it's definitely using both of these, and all of them. Which I think it is. There we go. So yeah, that seems to be full of hydrogen chloride. Now what we need to do is hook that up to the ME network. Let me just make sure that auto-eject is on. 
input is red, output is blue. Just put it on all sides just to be on the safe side because the output is always the blue, blue, blue thing. So what we need is an import bus and a precision export bus. So, so we need import. Uh, always helps if we go to uh, ME. There we go. Uh, let me just clear that. Do I have anything in the system at the moment? I know I have a precision export bus, but I also need to. So ME. Oh no, not on that. Any interface? Can I craft one of them? Begin. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Emmy system made it straight away. So we need a basic import bus, like so. Excellent. So what we can now, and then we also need some Emmy cabling. So if we do Emmy cabling, we we'll just grab all of it for now, just to be on the safe side. Oh, there we go. So what ores? Have, what ores have I got at the moment as well? So I've got iron ore. That's one. Do I have any other kind of ore that I can process through my? No, I don't at the moment. So I'm going to have to. You know what I should have done? Before I turned all this off, I should have literally just wrenched that up, moved it over to this one, and then started putting the shards through there instead. That was silly. Uh, but hey ho. So if we go for the precision export bus like that, basic import bus on the side, and then we just need to connect this up somehow. So this is just going to require me running a crap load of cabling over the top. So, oh, oh God's sake, dirt, dirt moment there. Um, ah, where'd you go? There we go. Don't don't lose bit piece of enemy cabling. Uh, so want to connect to you there we go excellent so now let's start running this over the top of my top of my base like this there we go oh no we don't, we don't want to go too far excellent there we go so that is now set up so what we can then do is start dumping iron ore in there as you can see iron ore will go through there and it should in theory make a shard four of them Yep, four iron shards. We'll grab them out of there for now. We'll see if the rest of them go into the uh, ME system in a second. We'll just double check. I will put the speed upgrades in here at some point. They're gonna get they good. They got pulled out that time. So then, what we need to do? Take these shards. Produces four shards. What you can then do is put them into the um, what's it called? The purification chamber. And every single shard becomes a clump. And henceforth, that's where the four times comes from. So instead of putting ore directly into the purification chamber, you put shards in instead, which is really quite cool. So there we go. So that produces the clumps. Ah, oh, that, that is nice. That is very, very nice indeed. Excellent. So I think we've been fairly successful there getting the four times. Uh... So yeah, um, I think if you put an ore in there, let me just double check that. I think it just makes three clumps. Yeah, an ore makes an ore makes three clumps, but a shard makes one clump. But you get four shards from the chemical from the chemical injection chamber over here. So as you can see, it seems to have plenty of hydrogen chloride. All seems to be fairly self-sustaining now, which is pretty sweet. Yep, it's all still producing hydrogen chloride, plenty of it to keep up with the demand. I will, like I said, put the speed upgrades on here as well at some point, and then I will add in all the ores as they come into my system from my quarries. Uh, at the moment, they're just like not found any. And I'm sure I'll find some at the moment, but as you can see, it's producing all of, it's still running through all the old stuff as well. But the moment it gets back to uh, finding more ores, I will just add them to this export bus and then it will just go through and increase them um, and then I'll just add the shards into the system as well. So yeah, it's been fairly successful. Um, after some kind of planning, it was kind of like, this was like a vertical one at wrong way around. This was a horizontal kind of setup for the uh, electrolytic separators as you can use the fluid ox like so and the pressurized tubes. But these uh, chemical infusers did require a kind of a more vertical setup by the fact that their import and output kind of sections were on the side and on the front. So it just required a little bit of creative thinking to figure out how I was going to like place the redstone energy conduits, the two pr and the three pressurized tubings, but I figured it out in the end. I'm sure there's probably other setups that you can use, but this this seemed like the most efficient. So so yeah, it seems to be working now. Um, the hydrogen chloride seems to be fairly stable, not running out anytime soon, which is good. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave the episode there for now. As always, guys, don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode. But apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.